Hello, hello, everybody. This is Sister's Intuition, baby. Happy Friday, happy Friday. Hope everybody doing well, doing good. All right, we're going to do the fire signs, baby. The Aries, Leo, and the Sagittarius. If you have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and your sun, moon, or rising, or Venus, they could be messages, and it's for you. However, these are general messages. Take the part that resonates and leave out the rest. It belongs to another fire sign, okay? Everything you need to know about me is in the description box below. If anybody would like to inquire about getting a personal reading or donate to the channel, I thank you. God bless you, you and your family, and you on the journey. Please do not forget to give me a big fat thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe. Sharing is caring, and we want to get the messages going around, baby, okay? Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Shelly Evans. I go live there each and every day. If you go over to Facebook, hit the follow button on my profile. I always give everybody a heads up before I go live in my Facebook feed. That way, if you would like to catch me live, you can. And you can also catch me on TikTok, Sisters Intuition, all right? So, here we go. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do the fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius need to know? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, the magic of prayer is in reverse. So, uh, maybe there is uh, people uh, needing to get into the faith a little bit more, believing in faith, believing in spirit. You know, the magic of prayer, understanding that the magic of prayer, that it, uh, you know, make, making it a devotion, and that the then when you start doing it, it, it makes it makes it potent, and stuff starts to get better as long as you have faith, right? Then we have the wizard of awareness. It's about being aware. Could be uh, people in your past, the ghost lands. Um, this could be some cold-hearted individuals uh, that uh, has a really um, maybe got you frozen in your emotions, right? You keep going back and looking to the past uh, people, places, and things that's hurt you, left an effect on you, okay? Uh, and it's about understanding everybody has a past, even if you've made mistakes, right? It's about understanding that this is not about the past. It's about healing from it and moving forward. Because we're talking about here and going forward. Okay? The Wizard of Awareness is the number three on this card. This is about you needing to be the Wizard of Awareness. It's about you set back and being a quiet observer. Watching people. Watching their actions. Watching what they do. This is also you being aware of what people is doing. Right? So you could be aware of what people from the past or people in your life at this point in time is doing and it's time for you to put the past behind you heal it and to move forward all right aries leo sagittarius sun moon rising venus yep it's time to stop following the leader following the leader so you know there's a clock here so everything happens in divine time okay number one i'm gonna start off with that but it's time for you to stop following the leader it's time for you to pave a new path and it's time for you to start believing in that path. The spirit of palace. This is about standing in your true, authentic self. Standing in your power. Understanding, being true to yourself. Not apologizing for who you are. You know, and when you do that and you stand in your power and your true, authentic self, there's a number four on this card, which means you're going from the three to the four. That's good. So you're realizing that, you know, you need to start praying, stop following the later. You're realizing this. You're aware of this. So now you're going from the three to the four, which means four is about manifestation. It's about uh, your security, your family, your ancestry, your roots, your heritage. This right here is the, you know, being worried about protecting treasures. You know, what you hold near and dear to you, whether it be financial stuff, whether it be your family, loved ones, it doesn't matter. You need to understand that you are always protected as long as you keep the faith, you know, you all need to realize that you're always connected with the divine. <laughs> Could be dealing with a Leo here. All right, but metamorphosis. This is about understanding there's something beautiful trying to be born. This is about you having the world. <laughs> you in power mode. It's like, oh, I got this. <laughs> One hand up, baby. You on roller skates. You look like you're about in skating mode, okay? But you're holding your family up, right? You're understanding that you got more strength than you realize, and you on top of the world at this point in time, or you will be, because Spirit is letting you know that there is something that is 
beautiful this trying to be born. You know, stuff is starting to come to life. <laughs> you know, this is stuff that's orchestrated by the divine. And it's what you understand that you are competent and able to run the shit by yourself. <laughs> the one ring circus, you don't need anybody in order to run the show. You never did. And it's about you realizing that, right? This is about getting out of the illusion of fear, the moonlight. Uh, it's about paying attention to your intuition because your intuition is on point. Understand that there has been shit that's being hidden from you. There could be some people trying to manifest some shit on the moon cycles, okay? But get out of the fear of it. Knowing that you're rooted with spirit and the divine and you are protected. You could be uh, a further education, higher learning, uh, thinking about getting some kind of education. But there's storm fields coming. Man, there's chaos and bullshit always brewing, okay? So this is blocking your movements, okay? So you need to stay away from the chaos, away from the people that causes you drama. You don't need it. As long as you stay out of the chaos and the drama, they're not going to be able to block your movement, okay? It's time for you to ride the wave. Spirit is bringing stuff into you, and it's going to be elf kind of effortlessly that's going to come to you. Because it's going to be like, damn, it wasn't as hard before. What happened? Well, what happened is you quit letting people bring chaos and drama to you. <laughs> and you start cutting people off. They don't wish you well. That's the difference. It should have started to come together. Okay? So let's get up out of this and let's see where we go with all this. So that's a good message to start off with. All right, let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the message for the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, maybe Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What we got? Yep. <clears throat> Couldn't say it better myself. Detoxification. It's time to get negative people, places, and things the hell out of your energy. It's about taking a spiritual bath. It's about keeping your energy clean. Saying a prayer of protection over your house. Um, you know, praying that uh, God protects, right? That uh, they're moving any negative energies away from you and away from your house. It's about taking a spiritual bath. Uh, whether it be a spiritual bath or a shower, you take a spiritual shower too. Look it up on YouTube. They'll tell you how to do it. Okay? But it's time for you to follow your dreams. Quit sleeping on your dreams. It's time to follow them. You could also, while you're sleeping, be getting downloads from spirit. And it's about you understanding that you're always protected as well. You have guarding angels with you. It's about moving body movement away from people, places, and things that does not serve you. It's time to raise your standards. Knowing that you deserve the very best. Whether it be in your love life relationships, whether it be in your friendships, family, whatever it be, job, career, business, whatever it be, raising your standards and knowing that you deserve the very best and that you will have a peace of mind. <laughs> okay? Family harmony. And keep getting better, baby. Keep getting better. You could be taking a vacation, plan on taking a trip, okay? Because dreams are starting to come true. What you've been wishing for, baby, that shit is coming true. The Spirit says, it's time for you to kick up your heels and relax, baby. You done planted them seeds. Now it's time to <sighs> manifest. Understand you got to uh, you got inner strength and power. Okay? It's about being kindness. But don't let motherfuckers mistake for kindness for weakness. It's about understanding that you got the inner power and the strength. You are stronger than you realize to move forward fiercely. Don't have any fear about moving forward. Fear is an illusion. Okay? Knowing that you're protected. Okay, trust your intuition. Amen. Trust your intuition this time that you can rely on yourself. That you can't rely on some folks, and you know this. It's time for you to get quiet. And quiet times, you can disconnect where you can think. There is some, um, maybe some people from your childhood, or just people that has made you feel like you was neglected, abandoned, not loved. Be aware of your environment, because huh, those people like to lurk. You know, I mean, you're feeling real stuck, but if you take a look inside yourself and you heal those childhood wounds, the fear of abandonment, the fear of rejection, rejection is God protection, okay? That's what I always say, and it's the truth, okay? But uh, people don't want you to know that because they want to keep you in that energy of, oh my God, I'm so scared of going forward. No, don't be. <laughs> That's what they want. Don't give them the satisfaction, okay? But you need to get these negative people away from you. Because they don't, they don't want you to have anything good coming in. As long as you got them in your energy, you're blocking, you're blocking your blessings, period. Just real talk, blocking them. So if you don't want blessings, keep on continuing to keep them in your space. And if you want your blessings, block them out. Five. All right. Harry's Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rounds, and Venus. All right. So this is time to explore, love, and create. The only thing that holds you back is you. Amen. It's time to get out here and create what it is you want. 
If you want to start a new business, if you want to start a new skill, if you want to do a new craft, I don't care what you want to do, but it's time for you to explore. Time for you to create. The only thing's holding you back is you and let go of the a fixed plan. Because whatever you're trying to fixate on a plan, just don't even try because spirit, you got the wheel, okay? Letting you know that you are worthy. Aim for what you want and believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. That what is being created by one baby can be created by all, okay? And enjoy where you are because soon you're going to be somewhere else. That goes back with <coughs> with that um, letting go of the fixed plan because you're about to be somewhere else, okay? And it says no longer holds power over you. So people, might have, people place and things might have held power over you in the past. But it's time to dissolve them attachments with people that you love. Family, friends, I don't care, lovers. Because they don't have power over you and understand that. It's safe, it is, it's safe for you to let go. You need to understand that you're surrounded by love. You're surrounded by spirit. They love you. You got people that does love and care about you. So it's safe to let people go because you didn't need them in the begin with. And it says you deserve good things. Keep your focus on what you want. So you keep your focus on what you want. Don't keep your focus on what you don't want because we won't focus on what we want, what we want to manifest. You know, don't give them the satisfaction. None of that shit, okay? <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. 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 Thank you. Yeah, you got the love. So people know that you got the love and you're a good-hearted person, but <laughs> baby, it's time to set some boundaries, with folks, because this is getting you into codependent relationships. People depend on you. And it's time for you to start depending on yourself. You're at rock bottom. You feel like you're cracked open. You're broken. But baby, it's time to get yourself fixed and get yourself healed. And it's time for you to surrender to the alchemy of life. Surrender to the spirit. When you're rock bottom, baby, you can't go nowhere but up. <laughs> okay? You got the weight of the world on your shoulders. You feel like you're drowning. Like everything's on top of you right now, right? Okay? This is about letting go. Setting boundaries with folks. Because if it ain't yours to carry, don't be carrying it. Period. If it ain't yours to carry, don't carry it. Because it's not yours to carry and it says, your life is a canvas. So you can paint and do anything you want to in your life. But it's time for whatever artist shit you do, whether it be an artist, painter, a musician, whatever art you're in, tarot card reader, spiritualist, healers, doctors, lawyers, I don't care what it is. But it's time for you to create, but it's time for you to be accountable too, right? In the seas of the mentical, the mentica, seas of the mentica. This is about you seeing potential. Okay, whatever you've been thinking unconsciously without saying it, it's time to bring that shit to light. Okay, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. 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 Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the message? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Moon, Venus. Yeah, we're going on a journey. Ten. It's about endings. It's about going on a journey. Could be doing some travel. Okay, tell me about this journey for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Somebody's concerned about this. Somebody's concerned about this ending. Somebody's concerned that you're ending stuff because the 10 is about endings and somebody's concerns are going on this journey. 33 and 10. 33 is a master number. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, tell me about the concern and the journey for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Journey and concern. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Clarify the journey. Yeah. The coffin. Somebody's concerned that you're ending this shit with them and that you're going somewhere else. But who it is, it is a fucking false person. It's a thief. 
energy vampire, stealing your money, your finances, everything else. You got this person could have a child or be expecting a child, okay? They could be sending you in a message of concern because they're thinking about you. They could be on their way to going to jail. And they want to come in and have a courtship with you, okay? Let's <laughs> put it out there. <laughs> Alright, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. 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 Okay, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody could be worried about their abundance, their stability. Okay, King of Pentacles. This is somebody you could have invested some time and some energy, but you may not have seen the results that you wanted. Maybe you figured out that, you know, I invest all this time, this energy. There was no stability. I couldn't depend on this person. Somebody's wanting to come in with this proposal. Maybe you could work for them, maybe a romance or um, a business proposal. Okay, because, um, mm, mm, okay, yeah, they could be coming in with that. Why is this King of Pentacles here in reverse? For Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. King of Pentacles in reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Clarify this King of Pentacles in reverse. Justice. Could be dealing with a Libra. Yes, Mike could be going through struggles, challenges, burdens. Okay? And this is their justice. This is their fucking karma. Okay? Because they had you set back in limbo. Hangman. Could be trying to sacrifice you. <laughs> but... It's time for you to let go because they've had you in suspense, sitting back waiting on them. This has been a battle. It's been slow moving, but it's time to move forward, knowing that spirit's behind you and you will be victorious, okay? It's time for you to start relying on yourself and work and get more discipline to rely on yourself, and that's when your abundance will come in. Don't focus on the loss, okay? Don't focus on the loss of the shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Because shoulda, coulda, woulda is past term, baby. You can't do shit about the past. It's time to heal and let that shit go. Because, baby, we're doing big things. Huh. We're taking a leap of faith in a new direction to fool and the page of pinnacles. So we're dealing with something. We could have some money coming in. <laughs> but we're dealing with something that's practical. Something we can work with, we can trust. There could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that's wanting to come in really fast and communicate, hoping they can change something, trying to bring in some clarity and some kind of truth, trying to take some kind of action towards you. But, uh, yeah, that's a negative. <laughs> Tell me about this this justice card, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, nine of wands in reverse. Somebody's is got is very drained financially and everything else. Ten, this fucking person, their ambition and their goal was to stab you in the back and betray you. But, baby, this is the end of a difficult situation. Some of you... Could have some unexpected money coming in, some good news coming in through a job, Ten of Pentacles, through your creativity, uh, your business, whatever, Six of Pentacles, balancing out, but you need to make the right kind of decisions. It's time to get out of fear, you know, and, and don't let people, you know, listen to your intuition, you know, there's going to be some shit that's hidden. The move, hey, I'm doing a video, stop, I'm sorry, it's my kids running. But uh, anyhow, you know, somebody not have the best intentions for you, so it's about to get out of the fear, uh, okay? Because fear will keep you stuck. It'll keep you blocked. And it's about you, uh, you know, moving forward and listen to your intuition, right? Okay. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh, shit, there's too many cars. Hang on. See where they at. All right. What we got? We got... No. All right. There is a sacred union... Honor and treasure your relationship, for it is truly sacred. So somebody could have a sacred union that could be married. And it's time for somebody to uh, honor their uh, union because it's truly sacred, okay? Or this is just a like divine connection, okay? And it says, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your true, your heart truly desires. Wow. So that means spirits send you in a divine connection that is sacred, Okay? Some sent from God. So to give thanks and blessings for what's coming your way. And it says, do not make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. Because it's only being true to yourself that you can be true to others exactly. Don't let nobody make you make a decision based off of guilt, guilt tripping you, or what they think you should do. It doesn't give a damn. Huh? No, you do what you think you should do. By being true to you, you be true to others. No other way, right? The past is now behind you. Amen. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available for you. Follow with faith. <laughs> Thank God for it. Balance. 
Love is not always about agreeing for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. This is a new beginning. <laughs> a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live out your dreams passionately. Amen. And friendship. Nurture the bond of friendship within your relationship. And your love life will dramatically improve. Amen. It will. Because you can get that trust in, right? All right. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody's talking shit. But we'll put it back in there. <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you. Yeah, dust it off, baby. Dust yourself off. And get back up and try again. Yeah. Okay. Um, you got some drama queens, of course. I always want to start some shit. So you could be in your head. You could be overthinking, stressed, and overanalyzing shit. Or this could be the person that is the sheep in wolf's clothing. This person is pretending like they're so good, but they're so dark, and they don't want anybody to see it. <laughs> they ain't nobody in denial with them. Okay? Threatening. Somebody could be bothering you, threatening you, trying to intimidate you, because they're haunted. <laughs> because they're having memories. They're having flashbacks. They're having trauma and side effects, baby. Now they're confused on which way do I go, because you know why? Karma's getting their ass, baby. Now they're real confused. They wouldn't before. See, they're using deviation abuse in order to get what they want in order to be the boss daddy, in order to control. They're getting screenshots, <laughs> getting evidence, and shit. <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Yeah, somebody's sitting back doing a lot of reflecting. <laughs> okay. Shit. Sorry. Maybe the whole camera. Anyhow, somebody's sitting doing a lot of reflecting, a lot of thinking right now. There could be some child neglect going on, bad parenting, or there's a your child that hates um, a parent. Okay, there could be some legal issues going on where they're dealing with judges, lawyers, immigration. But baby queen, you rising up. <laughs> you are stepping into your power. And you are being praised, and you're stepping into the spotlight, okay? You are uh, coming up, and people don't like it, because <laughs> they're getting bankrupt. They're getting karma. And now this motherfucker that acted cold to you is wanting to come in and give you an offer. They're trying to use this scared to tactics. <laughs> Group up against you with these groupies because they got a badass reputation now. It's getting sticky. But we caught blocking that ass, baby. And this bitch is holding a grudge, baby. It's a grudge holder. This motherfucker is tripping over you. <laughs> they're tripping, baby. They're tripping over you. Why? Because you rising up, queen. And they're going to bankrupt and have some legal issues. That's why. <laughs> they're real tripping, ain't they? Uh-huh. Guess they are. <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, baby. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Yep, they're irresponsible. They got a lack of accountability and you can't depend on them. They're fucking out here to betray you. Backstabbing, disloyal, and betraying your trust. And these motherfuckers are intimidated. This ex-lover is intimidated by you because the truth has been revealed. This was a one-sided shit show of a love situation, baby. There was no love in it. Because you felt some type of love, and then the motherfucker's trying to fuck you over, didn't you? You walking away from this shit, or they walked away from you, take it as it resonates. These motherfuckers go to no limits. They carry on without restriction, baby. Like they God, and they can do what they want, but God's showing them, baby. <laughs> showing them who's boss, and it sure the hell ain't them. <laughs> Here's Leo Sagittarius, baby. Yeah, there's a divine union coming in, okay? This is being divinely guided. Somebody feels like they're in a mental prison right now. Like, oh my God, they're having a lot of this energy drainer. Yeah, they're in a mental prison. <laughs> you know, they're trying to use your ideas in order to get um, work, whatever. You know, they're taking your ideas. But they're in a mental prison. They seem all trapped in their head now. Yeah, they suffer. They could be suffering from a mental illness. If they are, they need to get some kind of help. There are plenty of therapists out there. But they ain't that self-limiting belief that they ain't able to do nothing. You know, they need to get out of that. They do their self a justice, okay, of uh, getting out of the shit show that they're in. You know, they got to heal. But, you know, they're unhealed individuals. That's why they do people like this. So they need to go through their lessons. And, um, you know, you got to understand, somebody teaches you a lesson, yeah, you learn it hard. But they're going to learn a lesson, too. They, you learn a lesson from them, and they're going to learn a hell of a lesson from you. All right? So just understand that. Don't hold grudges. Heal it and move on past it. Pray for them. You know, because you, don't block your blessings. 
All right, all right. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. <laughs> the song's playing. These hoes ain't loyal. No, nope. <laughs> they shall <sure> ain't. <laughs> Spirit says, don't stop what you're doing. Don't stop. Get it, get it. Put some fucking action in it. <laughs> Let it go, baby. Let it go, Spirit says. Let that shit go. It's time for you to remain positive. Somebody want to come in and want to know if you can compromise, work this out. Spirit says, a negative. That's a fucking no. <laughs> no. Remain positive. Okay, Spirit is saying there is opportunity that is coming, opportunity that is golden. It's time for you to choose a new direction and follow it. It's time for you to talk to your spirit, your angels. And Spirit is saying the situation will improve. And when a year from now, baby, you're probably going to be married because that's coming in and you're going to be known around the globe. So, congratulations, baby. Take a bow. Learn the lessons and learn them quick because there's blessings coming in. And people don't want nothing more. Than to fucking mess you up out of them. They've been the ones been praying on your downfall since get go. So of course they're gonna sit back and want you to miss these blessings. Don't give them the satisfaction, baby. Don't hold grudges. <laughs> Heal and say thank you, Spirit, for the spiritual lesson and the blessing to go along with it. That's to come and heal, forgive them, and pray for them, and keep it moving, baby. All right. So I hope this message has helped you. Please do not forget that this is a general reading. If this is not your message, leave it for the fire sign that it belongs to or check your other placements, right? Please do not forget to give me a big fat thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you. God bless you, like I said. Peace, love, and light. Follow me on Facebook, Shelly Evans. Follow me on TikTok, Sisters Intuition. And I'll see you next time, baby. Peace out. Bye.